I've got to eat vegan pizza for 24 hours. I've got to eat pizza for 24 hours. Don't know who eats pizza at 11 o'clock. Pizza Pate, living in the mall where we kinda let them go at a Pizza Pate, Pizza Pate, sipping on my glass and chewing on the dough at a Pizza Pate, Pizza Pate, yes, we just go at a Pizza Pate, Pizza Pate, yeah, we get a Pizza Pate, Pizza Pate, I'm loving everything and everything goodbye. I'm gonna down three slices now, I'm having a target, see if I'm good now, I'm feeling a bone. Buy her a pizza, make her forget it. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today it is the 29th, what? The 29th of January. So anyway, basically welcome to this video. Welcome to the new background. Are you guys loving it? Because I am. Um, worked hard yesterday to get my shelf up. Moving on to what the video is. I, today, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour pizza challenge you already know i'm doing veganuary so it has to be vegan pizzas i've done this challenge before i think a few months ago i did this challenge and obviously i didn't have to make it vegan then so it was probably a little bit easier however it's not really difficult trying to make it vegan because there's so many different vegan pizzas right now and pizza is one of my favorite foods so i just thought you know what I'm gonna give it a go i've already got a pizza for breakfast who has pizza for breakfast obviously me so we're gonna have that and then i do have to train and then pick up a pizza for lunch which i haven't got yet and then later on for tea you'll find out what we're gonna get up to then it's gonna be great guys it's gonna be great it's gonna be a good day you know what oh i just nearly fell off my seat so these kind of challenges obviously i don't do them every day um i don't eat pizza all the time pizza is quite a rare occasion nowadays for me it's my favorite food but i don't have it an awful lot i don't actually really crave it that much considering it's my favorite food but i do like to either make my own healthy version or try new different ones so i'm not really the type of person to go out and buy a frozen pizza just putting a pizza in the oven and letting it cook like that's quite good that's quite easy makes life easy doesn't it the only thing that i might struggle with is not having any snacks i know i'll be completely full up from pizza but i might be like oh i fancy something sweet and pizza's not necessarily sweet so unless i desperately crave something sweet then i might make a sweet vegan pizza if that's even possible i try you know gotta try so the only really main rules are that the food that i eat has got to be pizza i can't even eat fruit like unless it goes on a pizza which is sad because i like fruit i like healthy stuff so at least like vegetables i can get on my pizzas but fruit is a difficult one got to be vegan got to be pizza and i've got to show you guys if i remember which i will try my very best to show you the date and the time because that's something that youtubers do on food videos so yeah it's basically a 24 hour challenge it's near the end of veganuary so i thought i'd do something fun with it you know why not because i'm in work for the next two days so the next two days are just going to be like boring meal prep healthy meals which i always have anyway which aren't boring by the way but some people might find them boring whereas a lot of people do not find pizza boring i'm gonna let you guys see what i have for breakfast i hope you guys really enjoyed this video just feel like challenges are fun to film i could film like a full day of eating but you know it's kind of boring after a while so <laughs> let's make it fun and let's eat pizza for 24 hours hope you guys enjoyed the video see you in the next clip bye it's 11 o'clock and this is the pizza i'm going to be eating don't know who eats pizza at 11 o'clock but i held it back as long as i could now I'm hungry. I feel like this isn't the most unhealthy choice of pizza. There's like hummus on it, which is really nice. Feeling great. This is a pizza from Iceland. It's the vegan pizza, no cheese hummus pizza. I think there's another flavour, but I got this one and it's on a whole grain base. Cost two pounds. Like two pounds for that is really good because if you went to a restaurant and bought a pizza, it would definitely be more than two pounds. Honestly, I wasn't sure how I was gonna find like hummus on pizza, but it is delicious. Look at this. This is so good. I literally feel so healthy because it's a brown base. I forgot to say that's kale and that's tomato. I probably would be nicer if it was spinach, but it still tastes really good. I'm actually a little bit full up, but I'm gonna do this. <sighs> 
This is quite difficult, actually. I've got one slice left. The layer of hummus on it is quite thick, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, I did it. I'm actually really full up. Yeah. What follows is a brief construction montage. Currently just in my car, turn the engine on. It's freezing today. The weather is just horrendous. I just wanted to say that this kind of challenge for me hasn't always been something that I could do. And it gets a bad rep because a lot of people will shout out like, it's not healthy to eat pizza all day. Pizza's not healthy. Pizza's too many carbs, too many calories. But when I was going through my eating disorder, I used to watch people do calorie challenges and the 10K calorie challenge. Watching that for me really helped me in my recovery because I was somebody who was so scared of things like pizza and carbohydrates i was terrified of those things watching girls who are into fitness and doing these challenges made me realize that having things like that in moderation is not the end of the world it's not going to make you fat overnight and that is something that i want to put out there for you guys because i don't always find it easy the thought of having a breakfast over 500 calories having any meal over 500 calories actually especially breakfast was just non-negotiable the fact is after that breakfast i used to have i used to be so hungry and I just felt like my whole day was focused on how hungry I was but now obviously I've just had that pizza I'm not hungry one bit I'm gonna go train I'm not even thinking about food and that's because I eat enough to maintain my body weight I'm not in a drastic deficit and I'm not really looking to lose weight I'm looking to gain strength and this random day of eating pizza it's literally a day of getting an extra fuel for my body so all this extra fuel like I'm gonna go and train legs I'm doing a bit of running today and tomorrow I'm not got any intention of not eating just because I've had pizza pizza today that is the mindset that we need to get rid of we just need to have these fun days of eating pizza and then move on because it's absolutely okay like there's nothing wrong with it in moderation it's guilt that is going to make you think bad about yourself and start to restrict and then start to binge and it's all those thoughts that go on in your head that cause all these issues with your body image and food and your relationship with food if you just disconnect from it and just move on with your day i've had pizza for breakfast so what i'm going to train now but it's not to burn calories it's to build strength it's to use that fuel as a fuel basically to power my workout to then make me hungry for more pizza at lunch because food is a big part of life and it's such a massive part of life that you have to be okay with it you have to have a good relationship with it and this is going on for far too long so i'm so sorry so i am going to go to the gym now what i'll do is i'll put the workout here So you guys can maybe do it if you want to do it i'm gonna see you guys in the next clip bye one eternity later i wanted to pick up one of these pizzas which is either this one or that one basically i wanted to pick up one of them sainsbury's didn't have it and then i thought you know what last resort i'll pick up this one sainsbury's didn't have it so what i might do instead is go to asda and then hopefully get some bits to make my own pizza it's not what i planned but you gotta do what you gotta do i'm so hungry i am starving that pizza kept me full till about half three and now i've trained and everything it's 10 to 4 i am so hungry <laughs> I'm still in my car. I've just got out of Asda. It is half four. I feel as though if I do not eat anything in the next five seconds, I'm going to literally pass out. So I've made a pizza, which is on one of these Weight Watcher wraps, a jam base, pip and nut and banana. I'm going to eat this now before I drive home because I can't even physically cope with this hunger anymore. It's still the same day. I couldn't find the pizza that I wanted again. So I'm going to have to make myself a pizza when I get home. Yes, when I get home, I'm going to eat something else because this is not going to do me. I didn't plan to run 10k but I just felt so good when I was running so I just thought you know what I'm just gonna do 10k and now I'm literally starved so I'm gonna eat this now don't know how to eat this I might roll it up I literally could be eating anything right now and it would be so good so this was a pizza but now it's just pizza wrap because I haven't got a knife and fork to cut it into sections drop the banana it's basically a calzone I've never wanted summer savoury so much in my life. I've got that now. I'm going to go home and make a real dinner. That filled the gap that I couldn't deal with for another 10 minutes till I got home. So I'll show you guys what I make when I get home. So I'll see you in a bit.
A few moments later. <laughs> the time i've just got my homemade vegan pizza i've used a weight watchers wrap some red onion some pepper cooked in a little bit of barbecue sauce and fry light with a barbecue base on the pizza nutritional yeast linda mccartney vegan sausages and asda's free from cheese i don't put much of that on because i don't really fancy much cheese because i'm gonna be having pizza later again for the fourth time to be honest i don't feel that hungry for this i can get b12 in this meal and i can also get some protein from these sausages Every vegan cheese has got such a weird texture. This has got such a nice flavour though, actually. Linda McCartney sausages are the best sausages in the world. Even when I wasn't a vegan, well, before the January, I think I've said this before, but I always eat them. Mm. Eventually, uh we're gonna to go to pizza express for tea a lot of people have recommended the vegan menu and i'm excited about it so pizza express for pizza of course i'll see you guys at pizza express Whoa.